excuse me. Would you happen to know the way to Hazel Wilde's farm? Tara? Oh my goodness, it really is you, isn't it? Lena? I haven't seen you since I was tiny. It's good to see you again. I heard you were coming to stay with your grandma, Hazel. Now, do you remember the way? <laughs> uh, no. I don't remember much from that time. No problem. Go up the stairs behind me and turn left at the top. Then just follow your nose till you get to Hazel's house. Go up the stairs behind you, then turn left and follow the path. Got it. Blasted, rusty old crank. Huh. I ought to blast you. <laughs> Not a bad idea, actually. My charm will bind, turn, and unwind. Ha 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 ha! Look at it go! Uh, Grandma? Oh, it's you! Oh, my little honeybee! <laughs> I'm not so little anymore, Grandma. No, I suppose not. I'm so glad you've come. Me too. How can I help out around here? I don't know much about farming, but maybe you can show me the ropes. Uh, well, uh, oh, now that you mention it, uh, I haven't got the spring crop of potatoes in yet. Let me help, Grandma. Why don't you give me those seeds and I can get them planted? That would be a good start. Here's the seeds. Just head over to one of the garden beds there and and scatter them about. You're a natural. Now you'll need to water them if you want them to grow. You can fill it up at this old well. There now, that should do it. They'll take a few days to grow, but it's a start. Oh, and I was thinking about cooking up some mushrooms. How would you like mushroom soup for dinner? Mm. Is it the same one you used to make when I was little? Because if it is, yes, please. <laughs> Lovely. You'll find plenty of mushrooms good for eating if you head up that mountain path a little. Wait, we have to pick the mushrooms ourselves? <laughs> no, this isn't the city, honeybee. Besides, freshly picked mushrooms taste better better. Yeah, if they're not the kind that poison you. You'll do just fine. <laughs> I'll do my best. Is there anything else I can do for you? Well, if you wanted to get some new seeds in town, it might be a good time to stop by and see the mayor. Introduce yourself. He's at Town Hall, a big building in the center of town with a flag above the door. You can't miss it. I'll take good care of you and this farm, Grandma. I'm just so glad you're here, my sweet little honeybee. All right, here I am, farming, 
This place has changed so much. It'll take a lot of work to get back to how I remember. I don't know if city life has prepared me for this, but I'm ready to give it my best. It's just a broom. I better not just... You know, I don't think I've been in here since your grandpa died. Sorry, I was just looking around like you said. I didn't mean to pry. No, no, it's fine. I just wasn't as good with my hands as he was. He gave most of his tools to Thomas, since I knew he'd put them to good use. You know, if we want to get this place up and running, though, we'll need to put in the work here, too. We always made a whole lot more money from his crafts than just the farm produce alone. If you ever want to try your hand at it, I kept the blueprints to all his tools right here. Thanks, Grandma. Not sure if I'm a handy Tara, but I'll try for us. I remembered this mine. It looked way less run down when I was seven. But so did everything around here. Mine shaft. <laughs> Looks like I can't get into it until it's fixed.
Ah, I see you found the barn. This is it? I went looking for it, but I, I wasn't sure. <laughs> Remember the time I milked Bessie and she kicked over the milk bucket? I hid in the barn because I thought you would be mad. <laughs> No use crying over spilled milk. Or a barn that got blown down in a storm, I suppose. I had to give up keeping cattle. So does that mean this is... Yeah, the chicken coop. Well, after Merlin passed, I didn't have a dog to guard the chickens. And they kept getting picked off. I chopped up the coop for firewood. Oh, that's a shame. Do you think we could restore them? I'm sure we could. But after that old ranch closed up, the nearest place to get more animals is miles away. If Mayor Otto would bestir himself to do something about that, then fixing up these buildings would be light work for Parker. Spring is the time when the earth reawakens. You can forage for the gifts the land offers up if you know where to look. Have you found any mushrooms? Will these work? Those are nice plump ones. You're a natural forager. When I was out searching, I came across that old mine. You used to tell me that there were goblins inside, remember? <laughs> I told you that, did I? <laughs> it was a, a smart way of keeping a curious little girl out of danger. The wood in the support rotted clean through. Shame. I'm sure there's still perfectly good iron and copper down there. Come back tomorrow and I'll have the mushroom stew prepared. I'm a bit tired just now.
Hello, I don't think I've seen you before. I run Cafe Moretti, the diner in town. Stop by any time. Oh, hi. Yeah, I'm, I'm new here. Wait, you're Hazel's granddaughter. <laughs> Welcome. I hope you come by soon. Moving always works up an appetite. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Sophia. Hey, Sophia. I'm Tara. It's nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Tara, Hazel Wilde's granddaughter. Nice to meet you. No, I remember you. Used to run past my farm on the way to the beach when you were little. Yes! And Grandma always told me to mind that I didn't trample your crops. You're Thomas, right? Yep. Gosh, your farm has the most stunning view on the whole island. I'm not selling. I, I didn't mean... Your grandma needs help on her farm. But it's not as easy as just moving here and picking up a pitchfork. I know. I'm here to learn. For Hazel's sake, I hope you learn quick.
Hi, I'm Tara. I just moved to town. Ah, you must be Hazel's granddaughter. It sure is great to meet you. I'm Parker, Lena's husband. She asked me to stop by your farm in a day or two and show you around. You'll want to know where Lena's general store is. It's hard to run a farm without it. I'll be by before you know it to point it out to you. Welcome. I am Vanessa Soft, First Lady of Fairhaven. Pleasure to meet you. How is your grandmother doing? She's... well... To be honest, she's not doing too well. That's why I'm here. It's wonderful that you came to help her out. Do let me know if there is any way I can help. Hi, I'm Kim. Hey, Kim. I'm Tara. I just moved here from the city. Oh. So, what sent you screaming from the city? Dead end job? Associate pass on dating apps? Both, to be honest. Everything in my life kind of fell apart all at once. Ah, the city is truly a buffet of hot garbage, isn't it? <laughs> I know that shouldn't make me hungry, but it does. They're on the butcher. We only sell humanely treated animal products. Right now, I have to source the meat from off-island, but we'll hopefully get a new rancher to move here soon. Cool. Nice to meet you. Hey, how's it going? I'm Damon. You're Hazel's granddaughter, yeah? How did you guess? You got the same eyes. They say, I'm beautiful, but I don't suffer fools. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> I run the bar. Stop by for good vibes and a sympathetic ear any old time. Oh, thanks. Awesome. Hey, bro. Hey, but uh, I I'm not a bro. My name's Kai. I run a kiosk near Town Square. It's like uh, a pop-up shop. What do you sell? Oh, ho, 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 dude, you have to see it to believe it. I only sell the most killer stuff I find off island. Come by and check it out. But like I say, if you fall in love with something, better get it. The merchandise is just whatever feels right in the moment. You know? Okay.
has a plaque that reads, This beloved tree be old as the town itself. There's... whispering? What is that? Something spooky and weird is going on here. Yes, I am that Angus. Excuse me? Oh, I could tell you were wondering if you recognized me. I am indeed the Angus who was on an episode of Baking Battles. <laughs> Always nice to meet a fan. Yes, that is totally a show that I have indeed heard of and watch. Oh, my little claim to fame. I run the bakery in our humble town.
Uh, I'm sleepy. Don't forget to water those potatoes every day. Lena brought us some extra milk while you were out, so I made us a delicious mushroom soup sure to warm our bellies. And your, your shirt had the right number of uh, gills or whatever? We're not going to start seeing things or frothing at the mouth. Oh, no, if I gave you something that made you see things, it'd be on purpose. Uh, Grandma! <laughs> I'm just kidding, honeybee. Now, I have another chore for you that would be a great help if you don't mind. Of course, Grandma. What is it? Some wood for the fire would be nice. Nights are still cold in the spring around here. Could you go and find a couple of the big old logs lying around the farm, chop them up for me, and... Bring me the wood. Sure thing, Grandma. Oh, you'll need this to get started. It's me, Parker, again. I stopped by just like I promised. How are you settling in? I'm getting there. I hear you. I moved here from the city myself 10 years ago. Oh, how long did it take you to feel comfortable here? I'll let you know. Lena's busy right now, so I wanted to show you the way to the general store. It's really important for anyone running a farm because she can buy all your produce and sell you new seeds. It'll be hard to make ends meet if you can't sell your goods. I'm heading there now if you want to tag along. Yes, that would be fantastic. I get turned around in town sometimes. Great. Follow me. Welcome to the island. I am Messenger Cameron Connor. Hey! As one newcomer to another, please let me know if there's anything I could do to help. There you are, and you brought Tara. Wonderful! Tara, I can't wait to buy your fresh crops. And if you need seeds, I can sell you whatever's in season. Oh, Parker, we need to talk about the kids. They were giggling over breakfast, so I searched Finn's backpack and found a whoopee cushion in there. Again! <laughs> I, I mean, that's that's terrible. Uh, see? That's the problem right there. You think it's funny, and I have to be mommy cop. No, I'm taking this seriously, really. Okay, whatever. You can be the one to go to the next parent-teacher conference. 
I'm tired of getting stared down by Vanessa. I'm all out of strength. I could eat some food to recover some strength. Or try again tomorrow. I'm all out of strength. I could eat some food to recover some strength. Or try again tomorrow. That wood looks nice and dry and ready to burn. Great. Thank you for doing that for me. It was no trouble. Phew. It was hard work, though. Oh, look at you. You're plum tuckered out. What do they teach young girls in the city these days, anyway? If you work too hard and don't keep an eye on your energy, you're likely to pass out. But there's an easy solution. Good old-fashioned country cooking. Here's another serving of the soup I made earlier. It'll fix you right up.
I'm a good... I'm a... Oh, my creed. See, a bit of food is all you need when your energy is low and then you're right as rain. For a while, you still need plenty of sleep. Even my cooking is no match for a good night's rest. But Grandma, you're the one who should be resting. I don't want you troubling yourself to cook for me. Ah, is that your way of trying to get my recipe book? Did Sophia put you up to it? She's always trying to get a peek at my recipes, but you can tell her they stay in the family. I hide my recipe book in the stove. She never thinks to look in there. <laughs> Go on. Try one. Okay. Well, which one is your favorite? I am quite partial to mushroom risotto. <laughs> I better not... Grandma, I said I would make you your favorite recipe, and I meant it. I just need a few things. You can't grow rice yourself around these parts, but you can pick some up at Lena's store, too. Your wish is my command, Grandma. Oh, you're too good to me, honeybee. Hello there. Nice to see a new face around here. Hi. I'm Hazel Wild, granddaughter. Tara. Oh, Hazel was so kind to me when I first moved here. Used to let me cut through a property to get to the old mine. Of course, that was before the supports and the entrance gave out. There's still good ore down there, I suspect. Ore? Oh, sorry. I didn't introduce myself. I'm Natalia, and I own the blacksmith. I can melt down ore into ingots and upgrade any of your farm tools for you.
Oh, hello. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. I am Mayor Otto Soft, and you must be the new voter. I mean, neighbor. Uh, hi. Uh, yes, that's, that's me. If there is anything you need, I'm the one to speak to. We're a friendly town here at Fairhaven. We want to make sure you're settled in well. To that end, we want you to meet everyone, so we've made it a little game. The fine Fairhaven folk will let me know after they've met you. That way, I can give you a prize after you've met everyone. It's really quite clever and progressive. <laughs> Plus a little bit creepy. <laughs> You're funny. Anyway, come and see me after you've met everyone. Oh my gosh, you've got to be Tara! Hazel's been hyping you up for weeks now. Well, now I'm embarrassed. Don't be. It's sweet. I wish I had a grandma here to talk about how great I am. <laughs> anyway, I'm Violet. Pleased to meet you, Violet. We don't get too many new faces around here in Fairhaven, so let me know if you ever want to hang out. Hello. Are you my mom's new friend? Depends. Who's your mom? Nina. Then yes. Nice to meet you. I'm Tara. Nice to meet you too. I'm Finn. My mom said I should make an effort to make you feel welcome in town or whatever. So, um, hi, I guess. <laughs> I'm Juliet. Hey, Juliet. It's nice to meet you. Okay, bye. Hello. You're a stranger. <laughs> yes, I I just moved here. I'm Tara. What's your name? Emmy. Well, now we're not strangers anymore, are we? Oh, hey, you're new here. I'm Sebastian. Who are you? I'm Tara. I just moved here to help out my grandma Hazel. Do you know her? Oh, yeah. Hazel's cool. Like, for a grown-up. Uh, I'll see you around. <laughs> Mini Hazel. Still here, I see. You can call me Tara if you want, because that's my name. Ah, oh, I kind of like Mini Hazel, but suit yourself. Oh, hey, Bruno. Damon, I want to settle up for last night. Sorry I didn't have it on me at the time. <laughs> that's all right. I knew you were good for it, but uh, <laughs> thanks. Fish just haven't been biting lately, but I got Otto to float me for a week. I wish you hadn't told me that. Your son already has it out for me, Bruno. That's not so. He's just a teetotaler is all. And who's your new friend here? Guten Tag. You're Hazel's granddaughter, aren't you? Yes. Are you German? And also psychic? <laughs> I'm Bruno. Don't actually speak much of my native tongue, but I try to keep up some traditions. And you're just a picture of your grandma when she was a girl. I am? Yeah. She was a real spitfire back then, too. Hasn't changed much. I see you met Damon. Tara, watch out for this boy. He's trouble. Hey, I'm trying to make a good first impression here. Do you mind? Oh, 
Just who I was hoping to see. Who? Me? Here, take this to Hazel. Oh, I couldn't. <laughs> Nonsense. Take it. Your grandma and I have a friendly pie rivalry of sorts. This is my answer to her last move. A devastatingly perfect key lime tart. I bake with love, but I also bake to win. Uh, okay. I'll make sure she gets it. Let me know how she likes it. Hey, I'm Tara. Oh, the new girl. I'm Francis. Ashante. Oh, you speak French? Well, no. I speak Spanish, though. Bienvenidos to our little seaside pueblo. Gracias. <laughs> and who is this beautiful creature I see? I, uh, what, uh, I'm Tara, Hazel's granddaughter. <laughs> Hazel told me her granddaughter was coming to town, but didn't mention that she was so lovely. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm Amira, the doctor here in Fairhaven. I've been taking care of your grandmother. Oh, wow. Thank you. I came as soon as I heard she was sick. She's lucky to have such a caring family. Well, I mean, to be honest, we kind of fell out of touch for a while. I'm trying to make up for lost time. We can't regain lost time. But you're here for her now. That is enough. Hi, I'm Tara. I just moved to town. You look just like I pictured. I'm sorry, what? Oh, uh, being Hazel's granddaughter, I mean. Oh, and you are? Been many things, but if it's a name you're looking for, folks here call me Shelby. If you decide to go into ranching, you can sell me any animals you have. I'll give you cash and some of the meat. Uh. Oh, I guess it's tough coming from the city to learn how the sausage is made. Yeah, uh, where I come from, it's, uh, it's not talked about so much. I understand. There's lots of stuff we don't talk about in the open here, too. Like what? I have to get back to work. Wonderful! The last citizen has let me know that you've been introduced. As promised, here is your reward for playing our little game. We hope it helped you acclimatize. Uh, thanks! Uh, money's great too, though.
I better not. I think I have everything we need. Now, I've written down the recipe here. Head on over to the stove. Give it a try. Here you go, Grandma. Here's your mushroom risotto. Oh, thank you, honeybee. It smells wonderful. But you made enough for yourself, I hope. Oh, here, Grandma. Sophia gave me this pie to give to you. <sighs> Apple? How original. You keep it, honeybee. The sugar rush will give you some energy when you need it.
It's so, like, cool of you to come hang with Hazel. When I first took over my stall from the last owner, Hazel came and bought chocolate every day. Turns out she doesn't even like chocolate. She just figured if other people saw her giving me business, they would too. Well, I do like chocolate, so you will be seeing a lot of me too. Sweet. Hi, kitty. Oh, such a pretty girl. Oh, such a good cat.
Do my eyes deceive me? What a delightful surprise!
Herman. Allergies acting up? Ah, oh, no, it's all the dust in the front room. <laughs> but sweeping makes my back ache, so I've turned a blind eye for no <sighs> months now. But that's exactly what I'm here to help with, Grandma. Then would you mind showing those dust bunnies the front door? There's a broom in my room you can use. Oh, you wait out here. Those dust bunnies have no idea what's coming for them. I'll have to move this rug to make real headway. Whoa! Is that an actual trapdoor? Jeez, Grandma! What are you keeping down there? So, the trapdoor under the rug... Hmm? What is it for? Preserves and pickles? Or old machinery? It's not important, honeybee. Will you be out and about tonight? Probably, but I... Could you fetch me some moonflower? It only blooms after sunset. You'll know it by the white blossoms. See, my moonflower tea blend makes me feel so healthy. I get a blush on these old cheeks. Go right past Parker's workshop into the woods and you'll find what you need. I feel like I'm getting redirected here. I, at my age, it's awfully hard to hear certain things. Did you... Put the rug back in place. Yes, Grandma, but... Uh, but are you brewing moonshine down there? You can tell me if you're brewing moonshine. Mm, I can already taste that tea. That was normal. Hey there, kitty. Hey there, kitty.
So, you moved here to help out on Hazel's farm? Do you know anything about farming? Not even a little bit. Oh, don't sweat it. I'd only worked in my parents' kitchen before opening my own butcher. I mean, you've at least had a garden or potted plants before, right? Not really. Oh. W well, good luck. How's the farm? Are you inundated with chores yet? There's not that much to do, honestly. The farm seems so much smaller now that I'm an adult. Hmm. When I first came here, I didn't think I'd have much work either. But living things, plants and people, are always growing, changing, becoming run down. And caring for them takes a lot of time. Hey, have you tried Kim's Butcher Shop yet? There was nowhere on the island to get good bacon until they came along. Now Kai and I can have ourselves a breakfast with the works on the weekends. Oh, you shouldn't have. This is the homiest diner I have ever been in. Do you run it all by yourself? Oh, I've always been the only owner. Though my husband Giacomo used to help me. He passed two years ago. Pancreatic cancer. Oh, Sophia, I, I didn't know. Hazel was so sweet to me. She knew what it felt like on account of your nano's passing. Hey, are you settling in okay? I'm still figuring out my way around and meeting everyone. Well, take your time. A new town can be overwhelming. And some of the folks here are a little... more overwhelming than others. <laughs> Every new resident to play the meet everyone game? Oh, yes! After all, that idea won me third place in the icebreaker innovation category at the annual mayoral convention. Congratulations? Oh, hush, it's hardly worth mentioning. How's farm life treating you so far? I'm still figuring everything out. 
Well, let me know if anyone ever repairs the entrance to the mine by your farm. I run the jewelry shop, but it's a bit hard making jewelry without actual jewels, you know? Crafting beautiful pieces is one thing, but sourcing the stones is tough. I'll let you know. It's just a broom. So, I run the flower shop here in town if you ever need anything. <laughs> wow, it's such a coincidence with you being named Vi Yeah, yeah, Violet. A flower, it's hilarious. <laughs> Look, I don't even like flowers that much, but I can set my own hours. <laughs> I like being able to be there when my little brother gets home from school. That's so nice. How old is the little guy? 16. But he still likes it when I make him a snack, okay? <laughs>
Good to see you again. Hi. Have you seen the notice board in front of Town Hall? There are always lots of ways to help out in the community. Oh, yes, I saw it. Wonderful. I'm sure your neighbors will appreciate you lending a hand whenever you can. Hey, Parker. Quick question. Did the mayor make you play a game to meet everyone when you first moved here? Well, Otto wasn't mayor back then. It was Violet's dad, Antonio Miranda. And no, I don't think he asked me to do that. It might have been useful, come to think about it. Some folks are harder to get to know than others. Hey, so my mom says your grandma's sick, and that's why you came here. Yeah, I came back to take care of her. That's nice. I visited my Nona in Italy when she got sick, too. Well, technically, she was my dad's Nona. I'm sure she was really happy to see you. I don't really know. I don't speak Italian, so I didn't know what anybody said. At least you and Hazel speak the same language. That's a good point. You're a recent arrival, right? Did Otto have you play that meet everyone game? <laughs> he sure did. But I found it a good opportunity to introduce myself and the League's mission to the town. Before I knew it, I had four new members.
There's whispering? Something spooky and weird is going on here. There's something. I know what you must be thinking. Why does old Shelby live in the woods? Oh, well, it's it's really pretty and it, it's quiet. Don't patronize me, Missy. Truth is, there are riches here the untrained eye can't see. You bring me forageables and I'll pay you fairly for your troubles. I don't mind helping you out. You don't have to pay me. <laughs> I'm a hermit. Not a pauper. Don't need charity from no one. My bones may be getting old, but my mind's as sharp as a... Mm, is I... Yeah, sharp as a... Attack? Don't interrupt. Young folks these days. No respect for their elders. shouldn't spy on strange people creepily creeping through the woods at night. Come along, Elder Hazel. Don't rush me, I'm coming. Grandma? Uh, where did she go? She shouldn't be out here at night. Elder Hazel, this is the third time you've come to the circle without your robe and mask. This is an unacceptable risk. Ah, it's time for us to come out of hiding. The town won't be afraid of witches if they know that we're their neighbors. People seem nice until the day comes when they need a scapegoat for their troubles. Then people become mobs. Well, I didn't bring Terra here so she could skulk around like she's doing something wrong just by being who she is. So you think your intuition was right then? She has the gift? When will she be ready to join us? Join them? You hear something? Uh-oh. If you ever have extra baked goods to sell, let me know. I'm always happy to mix things up for my customers.
It's a collapsed mine shaft. I'm sleepy. <sighs> Grandma, so uh, can we talk about the fact that I saw you with some people in masks and robes in the woods last night? It would be nice to talk after I've had some tea. Grandma! Oh, yes, yeah, some tea would really hit the spot. <laughs> Grandma, I've been, um... I've been thinking about my childhood memories of your garden. Just... Bursting with veggies in every color. <laughs> I think we could bring it back to the way it was. Are you sure? That's quite a bit of work. What would we need? <laughs> well, for it to be enough to feed us and turn a profit, you'd need to build a bunch more garden beds. That means keeping a compost bin so you can get a whole lot of good soil to fill them. And you'll need to chop some wood to make the beds. Okay. I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> 